originality, character, peculiarity. All of these words seem somewhat different, but they're under the same umbrella that branches them together. A synonym of sorts. Individuality. You would be able to tell the difference between an adult Dalmatian without spots or an albino tiger if you compare them to what we expect to see. But how can we tell who is an individual when they're mixed within the crowded confines of the society surrounding them? As a matter of fact, how do we define individuality? I think individuality is everything about you that makes you you. Individuality, I think it's like the concept of being able to express yourself, to portray yourself and stand out amongst others due to your own like personal aspects. I don't think individuality exists because there's so many different kinds of people and they try to fit in with that certain group. And yes, of course I do think it exists. Everybody wants to like be themselves and be happy and portray themselves as their own person. Basically in every which way I'm different from someone. Although we can share similar interests or similar cultural beliefs or something, just the fact that maybe I saw one movie that someone hasn't already automatically makes me different because I have certain knowledge another person doesn't. My skin tone, because I've noticed that people judge me because of how dark I am. But then again I realize that I am who I am because of my skin tone. There's trillions of variables in this life that affect who a person is, so basically from birth I'm already different than everybody. And I feel like I shouldn't be the person that they should look down on because of how dark I am, that I should feel empowered because I'm more different than what they think I should be. As you can see, there are various ways to define the same thing. And yes, it's true that most people want to find something that makes them stand out, but others think that this is a bit difficult. But why? Do you remember when your elementary teacher asked you to cross out the one item that was different from the rest? Could this have ingrained an inner desire for inclusion? Or maybe even the inner quality to exclude those who aren't like us? Because of these ideals, it seems like most people find it easier to follow the crowd rather than to be themselves, to fit in rather than to stand out, to fear being alone. I'm more of an individualistic type because when you end up following the crowd, it's just like, it's, it, it's in a way saying you really don't have much of a personality going. I mean, you have your own, but you're always like piggybacking off others. I think I prefer to be alone because like when I'm alone, I kind of feel like I can relax and I don't have to like talk and like I don't have to, I, I just, I could just be more comfortable by myself. For me, I'm, I'm kind of introverted, so I, I don't mind being alone sometimes, but I think in the end, a human needs another human just to remain sane. I think that we judge people because it's different than what we're used to, and so we pass it off as something like, oh, that's weird, or that's, that's stupid, or that's different, and I don't like it. Because maybe some of us don't want to accept the difference in other people because they're just so used to one thing that seeing something else tends to make them think differently, and that's where the judging comes in. Although it is true that it can be hard to find ways to be and express yourself, it's definitely rewarding in the end. Being your own person, whether or not you seem to blend into the crowd, isn't always a physical thing. Being yourself is finding ways to express yourself, defining your own values and choosing your own passions. It's following the path that you set for you. I believe that you should just do you because there's nobody else like you. So why try to be someone else? I think the fact that you may want to be someone else says something about yourself. Maybe you're not happy with who you are, but I think that just off of self-reflection, just kind of thinking about why it is that you may feel that way can show you a lot about yourself. And through that, you can, be, can discover who you are as a person. You may actually end up liking it. Just enjoy heartbeat, I'll go, 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 go to the blue ocean.